This year, the International Folklore Festival of Ghana celebrated its 41st edition. And in this edition, what we saw was a huge participation from the locals as well as the, the partners from the Auvergne region. The aim of the festival is um, to, to show different cultures uh, to the audience, of course, to let the, different, the artists also to discover the others, because it's also between them to promote um, cultures who are also um, uh, in danger, I would say. And um, so it's um, one of these aim is to show what we are not used to see. What we saw was a very good blend of the partners coming in and supporting the festival of Ghana. One of the most interesting aspects was this particular uh, collaboration between the theme park and the folklore festival and how it related. What the festival did was to connect the particular dance groups which come from a volcanic region. The thing is that with Ghana Festival, it has a lot of uh, groups, a lot of countries coming from outside, and uh, it, that makes the interest of the festival, because when you have so many groups or so many countries, you get to exchange your cultures. So with Ghana, I can say it's, it's best. The second partner uh, for the festival was uh, CNCS, that is the National Center for Theater Costumes. And it was a good partnership because uh, the folk costumes and folk accessories uh, could be displayed in this particular center. My and yes, Jack uh, was okay to do uh, this partnership, and we progressed in this partnership until now three years. This year with a uh, Russian band, but it was because uh, we opened a new uh, area in the museum around Nureyev collection, and Nureyev is a uh, from Bashkiri, uh, this great dancer has beginning his career by uh, dancing a traditional dance. So it was very interesting to make a, a kind of parallel with uh, that practice of traditional dancing. It's a really important uh, moment for the, for the area because uh, they are welcoming a lot of uh, them from a lot of countries. So uh, it's a great opening for everybody, a great chance to discover other culture of the way of thinking, of dancing, of course, and uh, those, uh, those cultures are always uh, inspiration for the artist. This kind of partnership, I think, really helps the festival not, to, not only to just remain in Ghana, but move out in different cities like Vichy or Clermont-Ferrand, which is nearby uh, Ghana, but also gives it a much more wider reach to people. So I think it was a very well-planned uh, uh, partnership. And other prominent partners were like the local council, the state government, and uh, definitely the local villages. I'm 30 and I know the festival uh, when I'm a child. So it's a, it's a good time because uh, we share lots of uh, thinking. So it's great. And the best part of the Ghana Festival is about these particular dance groups, the international dance groups, having a particular chance to go out in a village council and not only be performing there in those particular concerts, but also be invited by the local family members in their home.
as the Gana Festival is getting bigger and bigger and we are seeing participation from various other uh, quarters, what is happening is that Ghana is also moving towards getting supports from corporate entities. And one of the biggest corporates in the region is the Michelin Company. Ghana Folklore Festival in fact gets a particular colour, the feel and the mood because of the work of the volunteers. The volunteers are uh, involved, I would say, in a professional way of working. They are volunteers, they are coming sometimes from uh, different parts of France, even from Scotland, from Peru, from Lithuania, we have volunteers coming there and uh, they're involved really seriously and they are really taking their responsibility to make a successful festival. I didn't decide to become a volunteer because uh, I, I was born uh, during the festival, during uh, the, the first festival I was three, uh, three years old and uh, my father created this festival in uh, 1974 and I was a dancer of the group of uh, Ghana, in La Bourre Ghanatoise. I don't remember really this first festival, but uh, every year I was, uh, I was in the festival to, to, for uh, doing uh, different things. There are about 500 to 600 volunteers each year who come and participate in the festival and support it in every possible way. I'm really interested in, uh, in, very, in a lot of cultures and also in, especially in the French culture and I thought this was a really special chance to live with many people from different places and also in France so I, um, well, I thought it was, it was really They have a certain passion to take the festival forward and to work effortlessly and tirelessly. Uh, my father and my mother and my sister all my family is volunteer in this festival. But then their work starts much in advance. Most of the volunteers, they come to the festival at least a week or two weeks before the festival begins. And then they help set it up. So we sometimes uh, go with the artists and help them. We also serve food and clean up. We work in cabaret and in bar and so on. Uh, it's a work camp uh, in French language, so uh, before I had four work camps uh, in English language, so I decided why not to have a one in French to practice my French and to, to all discover new, new sides of the festival and to see something new. The strongest support that Ghana Festival gets is from the local volunteers. And this year I had an opportunity to stay with one of the volunteer families, uh, the Cambons. Uh, Benoit Cambon and Isabel Cambon and the ch three children, Blondine, Gaspard and Alban. And uh, all five of them have totally, in la for the last 10 years, uh, devoted their time for the festival and have been working in some or the other way in the festival. It's a very good experience for us. I, um, we enjoy because we can speak another language and uh, exchange with uh, different people. 